Welcome to our channel BioDesk. In our previous session, we have learned about the blood circulation and structure of heart. Before starting the discussion about working of heart, let us see how to draw the diagram in an easy way. Remember the shape of the heart. Last time we have seen that heart is almost conical in shape. Upper part broader, lower narrow. You must remember the shape of a mango. Almost like this. So this is just the outline. Remember the upper broader part we are going to draw auricular part and lower is the ventricular part. From upper side of the heart arises two large arteries. They are called AOT singular aorta. From right side we see the origin of pulmonary aorta. You can show pulmonary aorta arising from right side. This pulmonary aorta soon divides into two branches, one going towards right side, another towards left side. So these are termed as right pulmonary aorta and left pulmonary aorta. Right one supplies blood to the right lung and left to the left lung. Similarly, one another aorta should be shown here arising from left side and these two just overlap one another. So, some portions of this cannot be shown in the diagram. The aorta arising from left side is systemic aorta turning towards left. So this one also called left systemic aorta. At the base of each aorta, we see the set of three semilunar valves. From the right side, remember this one pulmonary aorta and the valve present at its base called pulmonary valve. This one systemic aorta, the valve present at its base called aortic valve or systemic valve. In the middle of the heart, we can show the partition wall. This is called interventricular septum that divides the ventricular part into right and left ventricles. These chambers are thick wall chambers. So you can draw in this way. The wall of the left ventricle is relatively more muscular. The outer boundary can be darkened now. Right ventricle less muscular in comparison to the left one. The ventricular region is now almost complete. Now come to the two auricles. The right auricles or right atria here, left auricle here. In the right auricle, we see the opening of two large veins. These are called vena cava. One superior vena cava coming from upper side and another inferior vena cava from lower side. These two vena cava open into the right auricle by separate openings. So we can show the margin of the right auricle in this way. And remember the auricles are relatively with thinner and smooth walls. The opening of right auricle 
into the right ventricle is called auriculoventricular aperture and this one is guarded by three membranous flaps this is called tricuspid valve in the wall of the right auricle we see two separate openings these are the openings of the two vena cava now come to the left auricle when we see left auricle remember left auricle relatively smaller than the right one and here once again in the same way with thinner walls the left auricle the wall of the left auricle receives four separate openings these are the openings of pulmonary vents two openings of right pulmonary vents bringing blood from right lung and two of the left pulmonary vents bringing from left lung here we can show the two pulmonary vents here these are left pulmonary vents carrying blood from left lung and the two right one can be shown here you may see in the books these are right pulmonary vents but remember these two vents open here in the left auricle diagram is almost completed solid portions can be shaded thus you can draw the diagram of heart try and practice it you can draw it in exam easily remember here the right pulmonary artery that turns towards right passes through the back side and this one to supply blood in fact deoxygenated blood to the lung of right side and this one supplies blood to the lungs of left side so once again remember here the two auricles upper one and the two ventricles lower one auricles a smooth walled having thin wall also so thin and a smooth wall auricles ventricles thicker and with irregular walls in between the two ventricle the partition wall very clearly seen this partition wall called interventricular septum is not reaching at the apex so the apex of the heart is formed by the left ventricle the opening of right auricle into right ventricle guarded by three flaps three membranous flaps named tricuspid valve the opening of left auricle into left ventricle guarded by two flaps this one called bicuspid valve or mitral valve similarly two more sets of valves are there one at the base of pulmonary aorta this one called semilunar valve aortic valve here pulmonary valve here both are semilunar valves the different branches arising from systemic aorta supply blood to different sides of the body they arise at different points so auricles are receiving chambers ventricles are pumping chambers when we say why left ventricle is with thicker walls in fact it has to pump the blood to distant parts of the body with more force so this one more muscular in comparison to right ventricle similarly you may ask why right auricle is larger than the left one in fact right auricle receives the blood from whole parts of the body 
while the left auricle receives the blood from the two lungs only. So the amount of the blood is more and that's why right auricle is bigger collecting more blood at the same time. This is all about the structure of the heart. Next remains leveling. In exam, whenever you draw the diagram, you must level it and remember the names. This one right auricle, this one left auricle. Here right ventricle, this one left ventricle. These two veins called superior vena cava and inferior vena cava arising from right ventricle is the pulmonary aorta arising from left ventricle is the systemic aorta that's all for today in our next video we shall discuss the working of it. so stay tuned for upcoming videos do like and share the video and subscribe to our channel see you in the next one thank you